Hey guys, it's Mitchell. Today I'd like to do a video tutorial on how to tie a bow tie because we don't like pre tight bow ties. No, 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 don't wear pre tight bow tie. So, to start, I'll show you the finished product. This is how the bow should look in the end. And then I'll start from step one. So, step one is to find your favorite button up shirt and tie it, I'm sorry, button it all the way up to the top button because if you wait to button it, then you'll probably destroy the tie in the end. So just button the shirt all the way up from the beginning. Then the second step is to actually adjust the tie to the length of your neck. Well, to the width of your neck. So generally you want to size it about half an inch larger than your shirt size. So if you wear a size 15 and a half shirt, you want to do your bow tie at about 16. So I have mine adjusted to 14 and a half just because I'm more comfortable with the size of the tie at 14 and a half. From there you wrap it around your collar and make the right side of the tie a little bit longer than the left side, maybe about two and a half inches longer. Cross the right side over the left side and then bring the longer end through and over and let it hang. From there you tighten it a little bit and then take the shorter side and cross it over to form a half bow. Take the longer side and bring it down the middle from there, you pull both sides of the bow forward, kind of like a butterfly, and there's kind of a hole in the back now. Take the longer end and push it through that hole. And at this point, the tie is already made, so you're just going to adjust it to fit properly and to look the way you want it to look. I generally like mine to fit really snug or really tight, so I will pull it through a couple times. We'll tug it from left to right until you get it as tight as, as tight or as loose as you want it. And after you do that, just adjust it to make sure both sides of the center piece are equal. Then you can pull your collar back down and make your final adjustments. Depending on the material of the tie, you know, you may have to be a little more gentle or a little more rough to get it to pull into shape. But at the end, you basically get the same finished product. So this is the finished product of a self-tie bow tie.